Hey guys, so it's time to make part 12, I think, uh, of Apple's WWDC 2011 first keynote. Uh, it was a next after they showed off this is about iCloud. I only made the first video about iCloud, and this is the second one. Uh, this time they are showing off the app photo stream, and obviously this is perfect if you, you know, return home from a vacation, you know, been taking some pictures, and then you want them to be pushed out in the cloud to all of your other devices automatically, then you can go ahead and do so. It's kind of like because on Android uh, but uh, yeah more transparent so that's kind of good. Uh, also you don't have to have you know a, another app to do that. Uh, it's uh, in a separate album in photos. I think it's called yeah photo stream. Uh, these are pictures that is going to be you know stream streamed out live to your other devices uh, but if you're running on the Mac it's in the iPhoto um, album or photo folder and if you have on the PC it's uh, only in the pictures folder uh, but it's good that it still works for you know to do this photo stream on the PC because I mean a lot of people have the iPhone 4 or iPad 2 or iPad touch uh, and they have a PC I mean everyone doesn't have an iMac or Mac Pro so uh, very good there also it works with Apple TV uh, you just pick the photo stream there under the internet tab so very very cool there if you you know you want to have a look at some vacation pictures you know when you've been away and also iCloud will only store the last 1000 photos now 1000 may sound like a small number but uh, it's kind of good but uh, yeah they, they could have made it bigger uh, but uh, 1000 photos that's what they are going to store the last 1000 photos uh, then it uh, will like uh, maybe transfer them to your computer I'm not sure uh, but uh, also in the cloud these photos are going to be kept for 30 days then I have no idea what's going to happen with them but uh, hopefully they won't delete them because that would be kind of bad and also they demoed out you know by taking a picture uh, with iPhone 4 and then they you know saw it directly on the iPad 2 so uh, obviously it seems to work pretty good and uh, here we also have the big screen so that should be on like an iMac so that is cool and obviously Steve he, he's asking if it's not awesome you know take a picture and then it's on all, all of your devices uh, but uh, obviously this is good iCloud insane insane program or insane cloud based service that really push out everything over Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi only so very 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 good there and here we have some stats that I already said Mac and PCs and uh, yeah and then also we are going to have iTunes in the cloud this is something that you'll be able to have like, like let's say you, know, you no longer have to like purchase a song multiple times if you have multiple devices and haven't like downloaded them to all of your devices uh, you will like uh, yourself in game center see this little cloud logo there uh, if you have them stored in the cloud and just be able to tap that and download them all or if you want to download them all, just uh, click download all. Very very simple there. But uh, finally, in the music industry, you don't have charge like for multiple downloads to different devices. So very very good, very good. I like it. Uh, here you can clearly see that you can turn on automatic downloads. So you download all of your new purchases. Uh, also include free ones on all of your devices. So good there for all of you people that use iTunes a lot. Uh, you will have a new purchase tab in iTunes where you'll be able to see all of your songs as they're purchased uh, songs that you don't have on your device uh, under the tab called not on this device so yeah good 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 there uh, seems to be taking some time there to download the songs but probably just because the Wi-Fi suck there uh, but uh, yeah obviously we like this this is iCloud and high quality uh, songs uh, that's going to be streamed 256 kbps AAC quality so obviously that's something that we do like and obviously that they're making it free with no ads that is obviously good and obviously that you know they have a pretty expensive devices so it's good that it's making them free so they're going to be able to compete with the Google Music and Amazon's Cloud Drive now so that is going to be interesting and uh, by default 
uh, on these new iOS 5 devices, you're going to get 5 GB storage for your mail. So, yeah, maybe not sound that much, but the mail, I mean, that doesn't take that much. So, still pretty good. Also, they're going to launch a developer beta today. Uh, so, very, very good there. And also, uh, iTunes in the cloud is going to be run on iOS 4.3 beta. So, yeah. That is what we do like. And uh, iOS uh, or this iCloud won't be shipped today. It will be shipped in iOS 5 uh, in this fall. So, yeah, that is basically iCloud. So, I'm going to make a final video uh, after this. And uh, I think that could be the ending video. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. See you.